Good morning, it's Monday. Sitting in the parking lot of the DMV because Darren needs to get driver's manual so that he can get his license before he leaves for the army. And number two is that he also needs a California state ID. Brought my stuff, MacBook, to edit so that we can just pass the time away. As soon as Darren gets settled in, I'm gonna go grab some cold brew coffee because I am half asleep. Here at the coffee bean, I needed a cold brew. Fortunately, Darren was lacking some paperwork, which I, you know, I didn't even bother to kind of look it up on the website. So he needs like his birth certificate, anything that confirms his residency um, in the area where we live. So we have to unfortunately come back again. Okay, at least we know for next time we will be prepared. But anyway, let's go run some errands. I am with Juliana Hi. here at Daiso and she's so sweet. She literally caught me off guard. I'm like blushing. Yeah, like, I was like, I know her. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. Thank you so yeah, much no for problem. saying hi. We are now in Valencia. I'm currently at the Nestle Toll House. It's like a little cafe and I'm about to eat because I am starving. I haven't eaten anything today. Chipotle chicken wrap. Wow, this is actually really the wrap at Nestle was delicious and that huge thing only contained 220 calories I mean of course you know I had the jalapeno chips but I mean I can't say no to chips but yeah it was only 220 calories it was delicious it was filling and yeah definitely go check it out if you guys ever um, see a Nestle Toll House Cafe, definitely go check it out. Back at Boba Master, this time I'm trying the Crema Lychee Madness. I'm gonna go have an early dinner, I guess it's like happy hour dinner, with my old co-workers from the doctor's office. We're going to Chocho-san, which is a, uh, a Japanese restaurant, and their food last time during happy hour was amazing, it was so good. So we're gonna go grub, we're gonna go eat. We are going to drink some yummy, yummy tea. So it is Friday, I'm here at the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf here in Valencia. I just dropped off Darren at um, his... Well, I'm actually his CFCY friend. We're gonna be hanging out, watching a movie, and I am here to do some work. And uh, probably around like 6:30, 7 o'clock, I'm gonna go play. You guys know where I'm going. I'm pretty sure you guys know. I definitely gotta get some work done. Look, look at that, making a mess. Oh no, it's for a vlog. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can I say? Thank you, you too. I still have a couple of hours to kill, and I think I have about an hour and a half here at Six Flags, so let's kind of go on a, a couple of rides. Most likely one or two at the most, but that's completely okay. for having um, a GoPro. You're not really supposed to have your camera or your GoPro or whatever it is with you. What's up you guys? What are you guys doing here? We're here at Kicking Cajun here in Northridge, I guess. We were not supposed to go here, but it was just like a random thing. We were supposed to go get Boba, which is like two or three doors down from this place, but my husband's like, let's go have Kicking Cajun. So we're gonna eat a little bit here, and then we're still gonna go get Boba. If you text a certain coupon code, then you can end up getting the beignets. Wait, oh! Wait, hold on! Oh, the hubs is probably annoyed. Wait, hold on, don't eat yours yet. Let me put it on my Insta story. She's so 
cute. It looks like a plant. There's boba at the very bottom. It's a mocha with Oreo crumbs on top with a mint. So I wanted to just kind of explain to you guys what happened or the things that went on that Friday because I don't think I even really elaborated on it. Darian had actually been putting together a prom puzzle for Allison who is part of his um, his group of friends for CFCY and he made this aged book. I dropped them off. They had something going on with their, um, their CFCY group and that is where he had asked Allison to prom. presented her with a little plant of succulents which I thought was really cute and she said yes. You're wondering who was filming? That was not me. It's actually one of their friends. Even my husband asked if that was me filming it. I had asked permission if it would be okay if I included it in the vlog and Darren and Allison both said yes. So thank you guys so much for letting me include it in the vlog and also just sharing it with you guys because um, it was definitely a highlight and to be honest with you guys, I don't ever remember having a prom proposal. Mm -mm. Like back in the day, it was more like you just ask somebody, maybe they'll do something like really sweet, you know, they'll give you flowers or they'll ask you in a really sweet way. But I guess now like people really go the extra, extra, extra mile to make a really memorable promposal. Darren really put a lot of effort and thought into making that book because it did take him quite a while. He really wanted to make it special. So.